Good day, grade 11. Welcome to week 8. We are looking at number patterns still. But in this lesson, we're going to introduce you to a new type of number pattern. It's called the quadratic sequence. Let's look at the definition. The definition says a quadratic sequence is a sequence of numbers in which the second difference between any two consecutive terms is constant. Now, that sounds very scary, but it's actually not. So I'm going to show you how to do these. But it's, let me give you an example of what I mean. So first of all, if we look at this number, this number sequence, we've got 1, 2, 4, 7, 11. So let me just write it out there so I've got more space. I've got 1, 2, 4, 7, and 11. Now if I look at the common difference between these, if I've got 2 minus 1, I have got 1. If I go 4 minus 2, I've got 2. If I get 7 minus 4, I have 3. And 11 minus 4, is, I mean, 7, 11 minus 7 is... Four. And now, if I look, so this would be called the first difference. The first difference. Okay, that's the first difference. And now, if I go on to the next bit, if I go to the second difference, which is this term minus that term, 2 minus 1 is 1, 3 minus 2 is 1, and 4 minus 3 is 1. And this, yeah, is called the second difference difference. So if we go back and look at that definition again, it says a quadratic sequence is a sequence of numbers in which the second difference between any two consecutive terms is constant. So that's what that is. If we have a second difference which is constant, stays the same, then we have what is called a quadratic sequence. Now, there's a trick in working this out, and but I'm going to show you the theory and don't freak out, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to <laughs> work out how we're going to work out the first difference and the second difference if we don't have the general formula. So first of all, this bit here, Tn is equal to An squared plus Bn plus C. Okay, so this looks exactly like quadratic equations we've done before, except that they had, for example, y is equal to Ax squared plus Bx plus C. So now instead of the x's, we have n's because n stands for the term. Now, if I substitute the term 1 into this, do you agree it becomes a times 1 squared plus b times 1 plus c? So therefore, that becomes a plus b plus c, right? If I substitute 2 into the n, I've got a times 2 squared plus b times 2 plus C, which then becomes 4A plus 2B plus C. And if I do again, to substituting in the 3, do you agree that I have got A times 3 squared plus B times 3 plus C, which becomes 9A squared plus 3B plus C. Now, if we look at the first difference, the first difference is going to be this term here minus that term. It's going to be 4a plus 2b plus c minus a plus b plus c. And if we do that, it becomes 4a plus 2b plus c minus a minus b minus c. 4a minus a is 3a. 2b minus b works out to be plus c, and c minus c goes away. And if I do this difference here, the first difference, I end up, I don't know why that's squared, I end up with 9a plus 3b plus c minus 4a plus 2b plus c. And if I subtract those, like I should, I'm just going to put a little line here so you can tell the difference between the two terms. 9a plus 3b plus c minus 4a minus 2b minus c. And that becomes 9a minus 4a is 5a. Then you've got 3b minus 2b is just a b. And plus c minus c goes away. Right, now to get the second difference, what do we do? We subtract these two. So we've got 5a plus c 
minus bracket 3a plus b, which becomes 5a plus b minus 3a minus b, which just equals the b's cancel and you're left with 2a. So what does that mean? That means that for every one of these general cases or in, in every one of these quadratic sequences, your second difference is always going to be equal to 2a. The first difference, okay, over here is always going to be equal to 3a plus b. And the first term is always going to be, so t1, which is basically your first term, is always going to equal a plus b plus c, where a is basically the prefix of the n squared, b is the prefix of the n, and c is the prefix, well, it's just the final letter c. So now, that sounds really complicated, but the reason I've proved this to you is because we're going to use this. And I hated it at school, when my teacher would say, you need to use this, and they didn't explain it to me. So now I've shown you that by just by using the general equations to find the first difference and the second difference, we get that the second difference is equal to 2a, the first difference is 3a plus b, and the first term is always a plus b plus c. So let's now use this information. It says, find the general formula for tn, okay, and we know, well, let's just write this out because we don't even know what this is yet, 5, 20, 45, and 80. So, 20 minus 5 is 15, 45 minus 20 is 25, and 80 minus 45 is 35. And then 25 minus 15 is 10, and 35 minus 25 is 10. So therefore we can say that this is definitely a quadratic sequence. So then we are going to use what we have just learned. So we know that this is the second difference. This is the second difference. And the second difference is equal to 2a. The first difference is equal to 3a plus b. And the very first term is going to be a plus b plus c. And we're going to substitute those a, b's and c's into tn is equal to a n squared plus bn, plus c. Now grade 11, this formula is not on your formula sheet, and these here are not on your formula sheet either. So you need to understand how you get these, and you need to learn it. Okay, so let's now use this. So we know that 2a is equal to 10. Therefore, we know that a is equal to 5. We can now use this information and substitute into this. So I'm going to change color so you can see what I'm doing. Now we're going to use this over here. And we're going to say, okay, fine, 3a plus b equals 15. But we know that a is 5. So we've got 3 times 5 plus b equals 15. So therefore we know that 3 times 5 is 15. So we've got 15 plus b is equal to 15, therefore b is equal to 0. Don't freak out if you get a 0, it's not wrong. Okay, let's now use that. So now we're going to use the b and the a, and we're going to substitute into the next level. And the next level is this here, where we've got a plus b plus c is equal to 5. But my a is 5, my b b is 0, and we want to see, and it all equals 5. So c, therefore, has to be 5 minus 5, which equals 0. So then, grade 11, so this is actually a really easy quadratic equation, because we're going to now substitute into the general formula, where we've got tn is equal to an squared plus bn plus c, but our c is 0, so that term falls away. Our b is 0, so this term falls away. And all we have is that tn is equal to 5n squared. Right, so do you see this is actually not that tricky? But to make sure that you really understand this, let's and have 
really got to grips with this. Let's do a couple more examples. This time we've got 3, naught, minus 5, and minus 12. And again, I'm going to write out this lots of space. 3, naught, minus 5, minus 12. So, naught minus 3 is obviously minus 3. Minus 5 minus naught is minus 5. And minus 12 minus 5 becomes minus 7. And do you see that there's a difference here? Minus 5 minus 3. Now, if you think about this, it becomes minus 5 minus minus 3, which is minus 5 plus 3, which is therefore minus 2. So that's minus 2. And the common difference there as well, if we do it over here, I'll do it up here, it goes minus 7 minus minus 5 which is minus 7, minus 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 is plus 5, so it becomes minus 2. So therefore, that's minus 2. So again, do you see that this here is a quadratic sequence? So now, we know that the second difference equals 3a, sorry, 2a. The first difference is 3a plus b, and the first term is a plus b plus c. So let's now see if we can use that to find our general formula. So we're going to first do this bit here. So we're going to go 3a is equal to minus 2. Therefore, a is going to be minus 2 over 3. Now we're going to use that and we're going to substitute into that there. So here we go. We've got this bit here that we're looking at now. So we've got 3a plus b is equal to minus 3. So we've got 3 times minus 2 over 3 plus b equals minus 3. Now that luckily cancels and you're left with minus 2 plus b is equal to minus 3. Therefore b is minus 3 plus 2. So b is equal to minus 1. And now we're going to substitute both this and this into this bit here, which I'm going to again just change my colors. And we're going to now look at that bit there. So we put a plus b plus c equals 3. Our a is minus 2 over 3. That's minus 2 over 3. Our b is minus 1, so it's plus minus 1 plus c equals 3. So then do you agree that that becomes minus 1 and 2 thirds? Okay, so it's minus 2 over 3 minus 1 plus c is equal to 3. So when we take that across, it becomes c is equal to 3 plus 1 plus 2 thirds, which is actually 4 and 2 thirds, but we don't write it like that. We go 3 times 4 is 12 to 14 over 3. Okay, therefore our Tn is going to be A, which is minus 2 over 3n squared, plus B, which is minus 1n, plus C, which is 14 over 3. And we really don't like that little bracket there, so let's just neaten it up. It becomes minus 2 over 3n squared minus 1n plus 14 over 3. Okay, not too bad. Hey, let's do another example. Okay. Right, grade 11, let's look at this question. So we've got 3a plus 1, okay. We've got 12a plus 1. We've got 27a plus 1. And we've got 48a plus 1. So to find the common difference, what do we need to do? We need to subtract these two. So it becomes 12a plus 1 minus 3a plus 1, which becomes 12a plus 1 minus 3a minus 1. The 1s cancel and you end up with 9a. Now we do these two here, where we've got 20. I'm actually going to change the colors so you can not get confused. So I've got 27 a plus 1 minus 12A plus 1, that becomes 
27a plus 1 minus 12a minus 1. The 1's cancel and 27 minus 12 is 15a. And let's change the color again so we can see what we're doing. This color. So we've got 48a plus 1 minus your bracket 27a plus 1 which becomes 48a plus 1 minus 27a minus 1. The 1's cancel. And what do you have? You've got 21a. So to get, that's the first difference. Now to get the second difference, we know that this is 15a minus 9a, which gives us 6a. And 21a minus 15a equals 6a. Awesome. So now, now we can just do it like normal. It doesn't matter if we put a's in this. This here is equal to 2a. But this a, remember, is equal to um, yeah, it's okay. Tn is equal to a n squared plus b n plus c. This here, okay, is equal to 3a plus b. And this term here, remember, is equal to a plus b plus c. Right, but now remember that this A is not the same as that A. We could call this X, for example, so we can't cancel it. But what we can do when we are solving for this, I don't really like the orange and yellow color, so I'm going to change to this. So we know that 2A is equal to 6A. But remember that this A is not the same as this. This A represents this prefix of N squared. So therefore we can say the first term A is equal to um, 3a. Right, so the first term is 3a. Right, now we're going to take that and substitute into that. So now if we do that, I'm going to just change in color again, and we're going to substitute into this. We've got 3a plus b is equal to 9a, but this a is 3a. So we've got 3 times 3a plus b is 9a. So 3 times 3 is 9, so we've got 9a plus b is equal to 9a. So therefore b is equal to 0. Awesome. And now finally we're going to do our first term, and I'm going to choose that color there. So we're going to use this bit here. Okay? So we're saying that there is a plus b plus c is equal to 3a plus 1. But the a over here is 3a. So that becomes 3a plus b plus c is equal to 3a plus 1. But b is 0. So now we've got 3a plus b is equal to 3a plus 1. So therefore our c is obviously 1. So our general formula, our general formula says tn Tn is equal to a n squared, but that is that way, so it becomes 3 a n squared plus there is no b n because b is 0 and c is 1, so it is just becomes 1. Okay, right, so if you find that this is tricky in the exams and you struggle because that letter there happens to be the same as this letter. I would change this to an X until the final answer. Okay, so don't freak out about this too much. Right, let's do one more. And this one's a bit better because we've got T's instead of A's, so you're not going to be freaked out. So we've got T minus 2, 40 minus 1, and 16P plus 1. Let's check if this is a quadratic. Let's subtract these two, so we've got 4t minus 1 minus t minus 2, and if you think I've been pedantic in the last question, if you see over here, I used brackets the whole time. The reason I used brackets the whole time was because in an example like this, you need your brackets, otherwise this minus is not going to cancel, 
And if you don't get in the habit of putting your brackets in, you're going to possibly make mistakes. You need to be careful about that. So this becomes 4t minus 1 minus t minus 1 minus 1 is a plus 2. So 4t minus t is 3t minus 1 plus 2 is plus 1. Okay, and that is our first difference. That's our first difference. Now let's do so these two numbers. We've got 16t plus 1 minus... 4t minus 1, 16t plus 1 minus 4t minus times minus is a plus 1. So what do we end up with? We end up with 12t plus 2. Okay, and then the common difference between these two is 12t plus 2 minus 3t plus 1 which becomes 12t plus 2 minus 3t minus 1. So 12t minus 3t is 9t plus 2 minus 1 is going to be just plus 1. Right, so that there is your second difference. And you'll notice you haven't been given a fourth term here. So for this type of equation in the exams, they're going to have to tell you that this is a quadratic sequence. Because if not, you would need a fourth, fourth number here, a fourth part of the sequence in order to prove that the next second difference is also 9t plus 1. Right. Moving on. We know that this is equal to 2a. We know that this is equal to 3a plus b. And we know that this is equal to a plus b plus c. So let's start with that. We've got 2a is equal to 9t plus 1. Therefore, a is going to be 9 over 2t plus a half. Okay, and I've divided them in separately simply because then it's easier to add connected. Right, now we're going to go on to our second part of this. We're going to substitute that a into this first difference equation where we have, I'm going to write it here, 3a plus b is equal to 3t plus 1, but a is 9 over 2t plus a half, so we've got 3 times 9 over 2t plus a half plus b is equal to 3t plus 1. So 3 times 9 is 27, so 27 over 2t plus 3 times a half is 3 over 2 plus b is equal to 3t plus 1. So therefore your b is going to equal to 3, now 27 over 2 is equal to 13 and a half. So what do we have here? We've got 3t minus 13.5t plus 1 minus 1.5. One that becomes minus 10.5t minus 0.5. And that is your b. And now we're going to substitute this a and that b into the first difference there. And I need to change color. So I've run out of space, I'm going to write it here. So we've got, actually, you know what I'm going to do? Since you guys have seen how to do this all the way through and you can come back and look at it again, I'm going to erase this bit here because we don't need it anymore. We've proven what we wanted to prove. So now we just going to move this out the way. Okay. I'm going to move this all out the way so that I can write above the blue. There we go. So now, let's carry on. So, now I'm going to look at this bit here. So we've got a plus b plus c is equal to t minus 2. But a is equal to 4.5 t plus a half plus b is in brackets minus 10.5 t minus 0.5 plus c is equal to t minus 2. So, what do we have? We have c is equal to t 
minus 4.5 t plus 10.5 t, I'm just making that go back, minus 2, and then this cancels with that, which is wonderful. Okay, and then we've got t minus 4 and a half. t minus 4 and a half is, okay, well, let's think about it this way. This is 11 and a half minus 4 and a half. So that becomes 7.5t minus 2. Right. So now finally we need to substitute this all, I mean, it looks terrible, into tn is equal to a n squared plus b n plus c. So let's do that, shall we? And let's choose another color. Let's choose the blue here. So we're going to get tn is equal to a, which is... 9 over 2t plus a half n squared plus this horrible thing here, which is minus um, 21 over 2t minus a half n. And then finally, plus that becomes 15 over 2t minus 2. What a horrible sum! But do you see that you can do it? As long as you know that something has got a general formula and you know how to do your A, Bs, and Cs, you will be able to do this. Right, grade 11. So what you need to do is you need to go and practice, practice, practice your quadratic equations. And then you need to go and do the assessments at the end of the section and make sure you know the difference between an arithmetic sequence and a quadratic sequence. Have a lovely day.